Hey guys, welcome back to Android Tech Park. This video is gonna show you the solutions for touch bar not working on Mac. First solution is restart your Mac. Go to Apple menu. Select restart under Apple menu. Then select restart in the pop-up box to confirm. Wait until your Mac restarts and then check whether touch bar is working or not. Second solution is force close apps. First go to Apple menu. Select force quit under Apple menu. Select the app that you want to force close and then tap force quit. Select force quit in the pop-up box to confirm. Likewise force close all the apps running in the background and then check whether touch bar is working or not. Third solution is reset SMC. First shut down your Mac via Apple menu. Then hold down the shift plus control plus option plus touch id for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds release the keys. Then press the touch id to turn on your Mac. SMC reset for the Mac that has T2 security chip. First shut down your Mac as I said. Then hold down the Ctrl plus Option plus Shift plus Touch ID for 7 seconds. After 7 seconds release the keys. Then press the Touch ID to turn on your Mac. Fourth solution is use terminal command. First open the terminal window. Then enter the following command. After entering the command, click the enter key. Enter your password if asked and then click the enter key. Now close the terminal window and check whether touch bar is working or not. If it doesn't work out, Enter the following commands one by one and check whether touch bar is working. Fifth solution is fix disk errors in recovery mode. First shut down your Mac via Apple menu. Then press the power button or touch ID to turn on your Mac. After pressing the power button or touch ID, Immediately hold down the command plus R keys until the app over or globe appears. Wait for some time. Then Mac OS utilities window will appear with 4 options. Select disk utility and then click continue. Select your startup disk that you want to fix errors for. Then click first aid. Select run in the pop-up box. Now your Mac will check for disk errors. Wait until the process is finished. Then click done and close disk utility. After that restart your Mac via Apple menu. If you are using Mac with Apple slick on, first shut down your Mac via Apple menu. Then hold down the touch ID for about 10 seconds. After that startup options window will appear. Select options and then click continue. Wait for few seconds and then Mac OS utilities window will appear with 4 options. Select disk utility and then click continue. 
Then follow the instructions that I set for Intel based Mac. Sixth solution is restart your Mac in safe mode. First shut down your Mac as I said in the previous solution. Then press the power button or touch ID to turn on your Mac. After pressing the power button or touch ID, immediately hold down the shift key until the login window appears. While holding the shift key, Apple logo will appear. But don't leave the shift key when you see the Apple logo. Keep holding it until the login window appears. If your Mac is encrypted with file vault, you need to log in twice. Then restart your Mac via Apple menu. If you are using Mac with Apple slick on, first shut down your Mac. After your Mac shuts down, wait for about 10 seconds. Then hold down the touch ID until the startup options window appears. Now you can see available startup disk and options. Select your startup disk. Then hold down the shift key and click continue. Then click continue in safe mode. Now release the shift key. Now your Mac will restart. Wait until your Mac restarts. After that, restart your Mac via Apple menu. After trying these solutions, let me know which one is worked for you. Like and share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel.